Joining us now is Republican candidate for California State Controller, Lan He Chen. Um, well, if you are elected, you will have a lot to get stuck into in terms of the complete um, nightmare of how, how they're running the state and the money they're spending with no effect whatever on any of the problems. In, 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 in the sense, most of them are getting worse. They are. And the problem is, Steve, we've gotten out of the problem solving business in California. I mean, let's just take gas taxes, gas prices as an example. You've got gas near $8 a gallon at some places in Los Angeles, as an example. And every single gallon of gas includes a massive amount of tax the state of California yeah. takes and uses. But whatever happens to that money, Steve, where does that money go? Right. That's why a state controller, let me tell you one of the first things we're going to do, we're going to audit the gas tax. We're going to make sure that we figure out where that money is going. Are we getting results for that money? But more importantly, we give taxpayers the accountability they need and deserve. And I mean, the other one that's just such a glaring um, example of failure, because there was new data, I believe, this week on homelessness. I mean, we're now in California, world mm. famous for this homelessness crisis for all the wrong reasons. They spend more and more money. The last figure I saw was $14 billion just on that in the last couple of years. And the numbers came out this year. It's gone up. There are more people who are homeless. It, that's right. In fact, the problem's gotten worse. We know one program in the city of Los Angeles alone paid $800,000 per unit of construction to house a single homeless person. Let that sink in for a minute. $800,000 per person. You could have moved the person to a different state, given them a home, a checking account, and you'd still have money left over. This is what happens in California when there's no accountability, no transparency, nobody keeping watch. I say that the controller needs to be a watchdog, not a lapdog. This is yeah. why. Because for too long, we've had people go up there and just rubber stamp spending without any expectation of results. That's unacceptable. We deserve better. And, they, you know, it's this complacency and arrogance that comes when they feel they've had it all their own way and it's basically a one-party state. But it really is true what I said. You could change that. It's looking good in your race, isn't it? It absolutely is. You know, we feel very good about where we're situated right now. We're getting ready uh, to make sure our message gets across to every Californian. Uh, my opponent is a complete financial disaster, did not pay her taxes for an entire year, had a license revoked, foreclosed on her home because she decided she didn't feel like paying the mortgage anymore. Worst attendance record when she was a supervisor of San Francisco County, but did manage to give herself several pay raises. So I think that is one of the reasons why we feel very good. We have a very flawed opponent, somebody who is going to take California in the wrong direction, and the contrast, Steve, could not be clearer. Yeah, she sounds like, it's like almost like made in a lab um, from California Democrats to capture exactly the kind of person they would put in charge of the state's finances. It's Chen for California, isn't it? I'm doing, I'm doing it for you tonight. Lani. That's right. Um, I think, uh, you know, I have a vested interest. I live in California. I want you in that office. Um, great to see you, Lani. Good luck.